Montana, Hannah Montana, Hannah Montana. I got Miley, I got white, I got Miley, I got white. I've been trapping, 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 trapping. What's up, Travel Squad? We are back at it again. Back at it again. And today we are trying something new and it's already been a little weird, <laughs> but this is our first cruise of the year. Where are we? Today we are at West Palm Beach, the port of West Palm Beach, which I didn't know existed before. And we are trying out the beautiful, majestic Margarita at Sea, Margarita Villa at Sea. So we are right here, Margarita Villa at Sea is right there. It's a smaller ship, older ship. It's kind of controversial, honestly, because it's like people really hate it or We've they heard love very, it. Very, very mixed reviews. Exactly. So far. This wasn't planned to be our first cruise of 2023, but it just happened that way. We, if you guys saw the live stream, we definitely are just like we just needed a cruise to get away for a couple days, and this is this came up. Yeah, and now that we live in Florida, it's so much easier for us to just hop on over, do this on the weekend, and not have to take any time off work. So we thought, why not? Let's try it out. Let's see what it's all about. Give you guys our honest review. Although I will say it's going to be very interesting because we did zero research Re before zero. booking this. We're going to be figuring out everything along with you guys. And just by this parking situation, it is very confusing. Like you pull up here, come this way, it's like a bag drop, but there's also like a valet parking area and they take your car. Yeah, but they like, kind of like insist that you do valet, to be honest. Was, I don't know if there was just a miscommunication, but we ended up doing that. Just it's $22 a day. We were confused. So it is technically cheaper or kind of cheap. I don't know. It's $22 a day to do valet, but it's kind of forced and I don't really care for that. So let's see how that goes. Also, it's like 2.46 p.m., which we never get on ships this late. Everyone has to be on board by four, but there are no boarding times. You can literally just get on whenever yeah. all right you ready to go get a margaritaville on margarita paradise yes, and see what's please. up for me this is just like a weekend getaway fun let's relax let's have a great time throw some l's and t's around and let's get it the check-in process was pretty smooth it was like right at the front right outside curbside which was nice we do have to go up here and she said we can make reservations for dinner and like buy any packages we might need so we go and get our room key too so i think she might have done us a favor and checking us in early yeah the lady downstairs i I think she gave us like a free express check-in. That's what's up. Otherwise, I think we'd have to be in that line right there. Cause that line looks pretty slow moving and long. But that was nice. But yeah, this terminal is very small, but it's not bad. It's actually nicer than I expected. I honestly think it's better than MSC's terminal that we checked in at in Miami. Oh yeah, this is Laura's outfit right here. There you go. You may have seen it in my top five cruise outfits for 2023, I think. So she wasn't just making things up. Like, she actually does wear it. I'm finally wearing it. I'm so excited. It's like literally the perfect cruise outfit. She in. And here's Spain. This is my basic cruise outfit. Basketball shorts, shoot, Nike shoes, travel spree. Yeah. If you guys want to check out our t-shirts, they are in the link down below. Yeah, and there should be like a store banner underneath this video. And then here are our boarding cards. Like our room keys, keys to the world. Yeah, this is what we go into our room with. They're very plain. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still gonna keep it though, because I keep all of our boarding passes. With more designs equals more cost. I can draw on it when we get home. That is true. So we skip this whole checkout line and then we have to go to the green screen to take our cruise day photo. She really did us a favor down there. She really she, did. She liked us. Let's stand a little bit a ways just to get a shadow. <laughs> and this is what the pictures look like. They were shot on green screen, but this is what they look like. You get all, get all of this for yeah, how much? $35. $35 for all of this. That's a great price. <laughs> Laura, do you want to get a drink package? You want to say F it and why not? <laughs> I like how you did a little stomp. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's get it. <laughs> So we decided to get the drink package. It is $99 per person for the whole entire cruise of two days, and it covers 10 drinks. We'll see how much, we have to look at the menu when we get on the bar. Watch all the drinks be like $2, and we're like, oh, we screwed up. I low key kind of want this shark though. So we got the lowdown. We got a wristband to cover our drink. That's what they give you, I guess, for the drink package. The thing about it is, it's 10 drinks no matter what. So you pay $100, and if you want to get five sodas and also five drinks, that's your drink package. If you want to get 10 drinks, that's your package. If you want to get 10 sodas, that's your package. I think we should lay off the soda and not use them for the soda. I think that's fair. Plus he said like a can of soda is like three dollars so I would say maybe just ask if they can do it like outside of the drink package because I don't want a three dollar drink to count as one of my ten. Exactly that's so weird it's like I mean you can buy an unlimited soda package for twenty nine dollars also it's just weird that it counts as your drink. We can get ten sodas and it'll be a hundred dollars for us. That would not be worth it. <laughs> we are officially on the gangway Laura. It feels good to be back on the gangway. 
It does. But I wish it was like the Alaska one where it's open and cool, but it's Florida. No air conditioning on this gangway, so Not at all. immediate it's... thumbs down for me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't come for her. Here we go. And step. Hello, welcome on board. Hello, hello. We're officially on board. All right, look at that. You're greeted by a, a huge sandal. I'm guessing that's a trend at the Margaritaville Resort. So far, so good. It's really cute so far. And our rooms are ready, but I mean, it is late in the day, so I don't know. That is the benefit of like, leaving a little later. There's a chapel. Oh yeah, there is a chapel. Wouldn't that be insane if we just got married on Margaritaville at sea? A, a lot of people will be mad at us. It's crazy because look, the elevators are free. There's no one waiting here for elevators like there is on any any other ship. We'll see how long that it stays like that. Here we go. Put the key in, open up the door, and let's see what we got. Oh, nice. It was very spacious in here. It is? Yeah, you have the two chairs, the window. This I actually area like this. is kind of by the bed is like a little bit Like tight. tight, well that's a given. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how this looks. Yeah. Should we do a room tour? Yeah. Before we do the room tour, I just want to show this is what the American public sy school system does for our students. Are you having a problem with the air because it's in Celsius and you don't know where to go? I mean, I'm guessing like 12 Celsius means colder than 28 Celsius. Right? Yeah, so just crank it to the left. You always it, just crank it yeah, to the left. Yeah, it's all the way. But yeah, it's in Celsius. But like, what does this mean? Hello, and welcome to my Margarita Villas. Villa. Oh. Hello, and welcome to Margarita. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my villa on the Margarita at Sea cruise. Come on in. This will be the first time I'm seeing this room with you guys. We can start off with the bathroom. Okay, if let's wanna, switch positions. If you want to come this way. It's unique. This bathroom has a sliding door feature. So you don't open it up, you just turn and slide it open like oh. that. Ooh, look at that shower curtain. So yeah, so these ones come in. It smells kind of weird in here, but it has a shower curtain with like some shampoo, shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, all stuff. So if you forget any of it, you're covered. Um, it smells, it does smell really weird in here. Uh, it smells like a public bathroom. Ew. Water, sink, stuff like that. It's actually kind of big compared to like what I'm used to. It has trash can, has under the drawer type stuff. Oh yeah, a decent amount of storage down there. Yeah. Standard toilet. And there's a pretty large mirror behind you too. Yeah. The length. Yeah. Oh, I was like, yeah. Yeah, so like, we close that. So everything's pretty much sliding in here. We have drawers for your convenience. Not the biggest fan because of the clearance isn't the best. You guys saw the Celsius thing earlier. We're not really sure what that red blinking light means. There's your closet. It opens from both sides. It's not but I probably won't be using it anyway because like it's a two-day trip. Get it open. Got your Bible. Is it a Bible? Oh, it says the New Testament, but it's in a different language. Oh, there it is. It's like different languages. So I was like, is it a Bible? Don't need a hair dryer. They have hair dryers. But it's weird right here. These are the actual lights. So like you can like turn them off by pushing the button. That's different. Life jackets and a safe's in here. The water bottles cost $4.95. You have a little makeup area where my bag is. So like you can edit or you can do a makeup. You do your makeup and stuff to get ready for the night. Telephone over there in the corner with a little pull out drawer. You would think this is like a cabinet, but it's really not. Like it's just like a light on the wall and that's it. So your bed faces this mural of like the Bahamas and Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic. So that's a cool thing. It has like a light. I'm not sure how to turn this light on. Yeah, and then this is actually a lot of space right here. You can relax. Look how cute this is. I like this. I would like put this in my home. You've been in Florida too long. <laughs> and then this it's like just a cove. A little cove. And then you can like sit up here. And yeah. we're really close to the water, so. So this might be our couch to put all our stuff up there instead of like the couch that we usually do. Yeah, that is our room. It's pretty spacious. I'm really surprised about it. We don't know what an interior looks like, but we got this room for $2.99, so I can't really complain about that. Yeah, it's really not too bad for the price. It definitely feels a lot older than any ships that we've been on recently. The bathroom did smell pretty funny. I will say when you were in there and I was filming you, it was kind of making me nauseous. I told you, it's like, it smells 
like a public bathroom. Um, it just it has a weird sweet smell to it. Sweet smell? Yeah. I didn't smell like cleaning products on top of poop, you know? But I think the room is pretty nice. I like the decor. Let's go see what upstairs looks like. Let's and then see maybe what the a drink looks like. Oh, the galley. Yeah. One thing that I did notice about these doors is that they don't have like the spring mechanisms. Like when you walk out, they don't automatically I'm close. I'm so used to, I like walked out with my hand behind me because I expected it. But yeah, it just stays open. So make sure you close the door. Deck 10 is five o'clock somewhere deck. License to chill, love and luck, stars in the water, riddles in the sand, flip flops, change in the attitude and coral reef. We're on the coral so reef cute. I'm guessing those are all Jimmy Buffett songs. Yeah. I don't know I only anything. know like two Jimmy Buffett songs, <laughs> but it would make sense. So it's like a buffet style. You got pretty much like any other cruise ship. And I think it's about to close, so we're gonna grab some food really quick. Selection wasn't too large, honestly, but I ended up with some fried yucca, cucumber, piece of chicken, and a hot dog. Then got a burger, some meat, because we didn't know where the burger and hot dogs were, some rice, and the yucca, and he got shrimp mac and cheese. Let's see how this tastes. <laughs> also, ship shape. Please don't judge me on the amount of food I got. I was kind of like in a hurry because it's supposed to close now, so I was just like trying to scoop everything up on my plate. Just like we did on Royal Caribbean Wonder of the Seas, let's see if this mac and cheese is busting. I love how proper you said that, busting. <laughs> also, it's supposed to be shrimp mac and cheese, and I've never had shrimp mac and cheese in my life. It's edible. <laughs> I mean, it's mac and cheese technically, it falls under that bracket, but it's not anything to write home about. I don't know, it just seems pretty like plain cafeteria food. It's very hard to hit mac and cheese on a cruise ship when you make it in mass quantities, so I understand that. But yeah, it's not bussing. So Laura got her first drink. I wasn't really in the mood, I had my water. How much was your first drink if you didn't have a drink ticket? All right, everyone guess in your head right now. How much do you think? And this is gonna be a premiere so we can see your live comments in the chat. All right, everyone got their guesses in. So, because we got the drink package, this was one of my 10 drinks. Without the drink package, this was $15. 15 buckaroos. Here it is compared to my water. It's a normal, like, solo slight, like, cup that you'll get at a normal bar. I think it was the pink Cadillac margarita. It has, like, mango and some other stuff in it, but $15. I hope it's good. I hope it's strong. Not strong? It tastes like juice. <laughs> she gave me juice. When we go upstairs, we'll show you a list, like the menu of all the drinks, stuff like that. We just didn't have that right now. We're doing our safety drill in about 15 minutes. We're gonna show you the drinks when we get on top. No shots on this cruise. <laughs> I'm gonna try Laura's drink. Laura's not lying. It does taste 100% like juice. But if you want to like visualize what it really tastes like and like experience what it tastes like, you take one of those freezer pops as we got in kids that were like in the tubes. You get a pack of those, cut off the top of the, the top of the plastic tube, and then suck all the syrup and juice out of it. That's exactly what it tastes like. Don't get me wrong, like those are good. And like when you're a kid and you just have like a cold one but not frozen, you can just drink it out of the freezer, perfect. I think on this ship, I might just be drinking like liquor on the rocks. I think that's the only way you can get your money's worth with that. We're, there's no Goombay smashes over here. It's juice. I think that should be another, or like our new travel spree t-shirt. It's juice. <laughs> Lunch and it's juice. Let us know what you think about that. What's up guys, Editor Fane here. With all the excitement, I noticed that we forgot to say, if you guys are new here and enjoying the content or you want to see some more content, make sure you hit that like button down below and also subscribe, come check it out. It's free and also you can always unsubscribe. So why, why not just try it out? This little, little trial period, see if you like it or not. No hard feelings. But if you really want to get intimate, go ahead and hit that little join button down there next to the like button and see what it's all about. But on all serious guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now back to the video. <laughs> When's the last time we did an in-person muster drill ever? Like, in ages. It's pre-pandemic. I feel like it's five years ago. So they have us all just chilling, waiting for this muster drill to start. Honestly, the best part about this is that it's not outside in the heat. I remember that one time we did on like Royal or Carnival or something like that when they did the mustard drill. Carnival magic. Carnival magic. It was outside in the heat and I couldn't bring my drink. So 11 minutes later. I would have loved to have these seats right here. This is the type of seat we need in our place. Nice and soft. Okay. I forgot how old school mustard drills are. I know Disney does it now too and, and think NTL, but like I forgot how intense and like awkward and just long those mustard drills are used, like used to be before the pandemic. Honestly, I swear that was longer than normal. It felt like it was longer than normal. <laughs> they just went over a lot of stuff. 
stuff that you could have read in a pamphlet. I don't know. Watch the video maybe. But I guess it's mainly because people don't show up to their mustard drills and that's why they're starting to like, reinforce like the in-person mustard drills so they know I get everyone one time. For your mustard drill, if you are gonna take a margarita bill at Sea Cruise, make sure you get to your assigned mustard station before four o'clock. I would try and get to your mustard station around 345. Seating will fill up. We had a stand during the time, which is fine, but it did take quite some time. So if you need to sit down, get there early. But also it gets really warm in here because there's so many people standing in a small area and it's just like a lot of body heat. Oh yeah. This is the this, this stadium. It's nice and cool in here. I would have loved to be in here. Can we sit in here for a while? But like you go down the stairs and then you go on the floor of the stage and there's a stage over yonder, like all the way in the back. But it's interesting that you can actually sit down on the floor while people are performing. It's like front row seating. The stage is definitely very much like Jimmy Buffett theme. I can see that. Yes, once the lights come on, like there's like boogie boards and surfboards and like just- It looks like a like little Florida bar that you would find somewhere. It's kind of windy out here, isn't it? <laughs> But no, this is the Margaritaville Lido deck. It's very empty. I'm actually surprised at how empty it is on here. Yeah, uh, there's like nothing out here. <laughs> like there's a couple chairs right there. There's a lot of grass area. There's a couple chairs right there. But like even on both sides, there's like nothing to uh... I'm about to fly away. <laughs> it looks like they never decorated it, kind of. It's like they kind of like ran out of budget on the way up. <laughs> yeah. Usually on a regular cruise, like it'll be lines with deck chairs, but it's not. Also, it is pretty windy, but we're not even moving yet. You can see the choppy water all the way out there. I can't even gather my hair to put it up. I do, however, like, it doesn't seem like a lot of people on this ship right now, which is like the cream of the crop. Like, there might not be a lot of seating, but there's not like people just everywhere. Like it normally is on a cruise ship. Yeah, that is kind of nice. I think the pool bar is down that way. So All right, let's, let's go, go see if it's packed or not. If you come up to deck 11, there's this little platform walkway area where it gets right in front of the Margaritaville at sea sign. So if you ever want a photo op, that's the place to go. Here's some prices for the drinks depending on what you want. So about like $12, $13 for average of drink. And they also have wine, sparkling, and some shooters. So this is a sail away party. Our bartender doing the bartender skills and doing all the tricks and all that. Okay, so I think this is where we'll be hanging out for most of the time if we go to the pool. It seems pretty chill. Mostly because there's an empty bar and I think we should just sit our butts down. Kind of empty pool, but it's a bigger pool and it's just a lot more seating and stuff and not as loud. I like it. And Okay, please tell me if anyone else knows what I'm talking about. This ship smells like one of my childhood cruises. Mid to late 90s, it smells like one of those cruises. It's almost like suntan lotion and maraschino cherries. Tell me if anyone knows what I'm talking about. Uh, Thailand and West Palm Beach reminds me of the one that's in Miami. Like you have like a little couple skyscraper condos area, a little inlet with the condos on the side. And we have our TikTok master right here making some TikToks. Right? Yeah, master. I never said how I like my first drink on Margaritaville. So I can't remember what I got, but I'll put the name of the drink on the video right now. But honestly, if I had to pay $14 for this drink at a normal price, I will be upset because it really, like even this one doesn't have any alcohol in it. It just tastes like sour mix. And I'm kind of disappointed because margaritas at Margaritaville are supposed to be clutch, right, Laura? You would think, you yeah. know? Like, that's their whole name, but they're pretty much pre-made, it feels like. I think I'm about to start drinking Trulies. Yeah, I think so, because you're guaranteed alcohol in those. And they're not too sweet, and I don't like too sweet. Would you pay $14 for this? No. Exactly. So far right now, I wouldn't get on this cruise to go on vacation, but if I just wanted to get out of the house because I had a long work week and I just wanted to do something different, this would be the cruise that I pick. I wouldn't drive eight hours for this cruise. Oh no, I'm glad we didn't drive from Atlanta for this because I'll be very disappointed. Please forgive me because this is not what L's and T's are about. It just was not good. Lord, you know what we forgot to do? What? Grab your drink. And my name is Drink it? No, my name is Laura. Oh. <laughs> my name is Laura, and this is my third drink of the day. My name is Fane, and this is my second drink of the day. You always add a little song onto the end of yours. You go, drink of the day. I think we're officially moving. Cheers. Too late to get off. Cheers. Well, oh, you can see the cranes moving by. Best time is always sail away. The cruise has commenced. We will be back here at hopefully around like 6 a.m. on Monday so I can make it to work. I'm looking at this and I'm looking at you. And I'm like, you can snag that great goose bottle. You can snag that Jack Honey bottle, like literally right here. And straight to jail. And it probably would not be a very nice jail. <laughs> right to jail, right away. Laura thought she can escape the tradition, as is tradition. No, we're doing tequila shots to, end, to start off this cruise. But I also want to show how much tequila shots were. Two tequila shots, I didn't put them on our drink pass, I, I charged them to the room. And if you guys can see that, it is $28.32 for two tequila shots. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's actually insane. Oh no. Oh, perfect. 
That's my face right now. Why couldn't we have started with lemon drops? Don't hate me, but I kind of forgot that lemon drops existed. So I went with tequila as my, my default. Sorry. I hate you. I love you too. Right now, Laura is mentally preparing herself for these tequila shots. She's getting in the zone. I'm so mad because honestly, I used to be a pro tequila shot. It used to be fine for me. It was vodka. I couldn't shoot anymore. Now it's just there's been too many, too much history with the tequila. Also, I hate clear tequila. Let's roll it back to when we were on celebration with Vanessa and show that tequila shot experience. Hey, Thanksgiving week, like a champ. Have fun tonight. All right, here you go. L's and T's at sea, baby. Water. Cheers to nice, an amazing cold food cup season. of water. Yep, cold cup of water. Cheers. Already. My eyes are watering. A nice cold cup of water. You're so thirsty for water. It's a little lime. Nope. Cheers. <laughs> Can we get some thumbs up or hearts or something for Laura in the chat? I forgot that we don't do tequila shots. I'm disappointed in myself. I'm not the girl I used to be. And also, a little heads up, when we do our group cruise, do not buy tequila shots for Laura because she would not take them. It would be a waste of money. I will take a lemon drop. I will I will sip on any brandy or um, scotch, whiskey. I will sip on any of that with you. She will do a Jaeger bomb too. Yeah. Don't ask me to shoot it, or, you know, maybe we can try gold. We're passing all the nice houses, headed out to the Bahamas. I'm not even wearing fake eyelashes, and I feel like my own personal eyelashes are gonna fly off my face right now. Can you see them, like, moving in the wind? I do see them. I do like this area right here. Like, it's, like, nice and open. There's a bar. Someone playing the steel drums over there. See, I feel like on any other cruise ship, they would have jammed, like, five bars in this area. Which, I honestly don't kind of mind because I like having a choice, but... I don't mind this because it's very chill. It's not, like, packed. It's not crowded, yeah. No. That is nice. That's like the one benefit for this cruise is that it doesn't feel packed and that's like so refreshing. This legit honestly feels like our first cruise. Like I, I just really don't know what we're doing. I don't know dinner time, where the restaurant is really, maybe even behind us. But like I just feel like this is like our, legit our first cruise ever. It's, it's kind of fun that way. It's like something out of the ordinary. It just feels like a weird vibe in here. It's definitely like, it's not, the people here aren't cruisers. It feels that way. If you're a seasoned cruiser, I will say so far, and I'm not saying this is a bad cruise, but if you're a seasoned cruiser, you likely aren't going to love this cruise. Yeah. And it's not like a bad thing, but like this cruise just means like, it, it feels like it's just like a random bunch. Like real world, like eight strangers came into a house. That's what it feels like. It's like, it's not a bad thing. It's just definitely, it's, the cruise etiquette is out the window on this one. Laura, at least we know that Margarita Villa at sea is like a cat friendly place because they just have scratching posts on all the tables. So, you can bring your cat. Please, please, <laughs> straight to jail. I actually kind of like this area. It's very secluded, but I do like this area. It gives me like slight Disney vibes. I, I was thinking, I, maybe that's why I like it. Like it's just a long hallway and it has like seats next to the windows. So you can like, just look at the water. As much as like, you know, we may be like criticizing little things, this is what like major large cruise ships are missing these days. That is very it's true. It's just like areas like this. So for Wi-Fi, it looks like you just connect to the Wi-Fi and if you register, you could possibly just get it without having to stand in the line, I guess, services. So I'm gonna try it and see what happens. Here's the prices for the internet. For one hour is 250, 24 hours is $15. 48 hours is $25. And now let's do a speed test on how fast the internet is. Not a bad ping. Okay, so we're getting like 10, maybe 10 or 11 megabits down. And oh, about six to five to six megabits up. Laura, give me your hands. Let's go to the chapel. You first. Why are you holding my hand so hard? See you later, have fun. In a gross way. Oh, look at that. In a gross way? No, I meant like tacky kind of. Look, yeah. it has a whole chapel. Oh, and different languages Bibles too. All right, put the camera down. You ready? You take my no, hand. No, put the camera down. Take my hand. Here we go. I, Laura. I, Laura. I, Fane. I, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> oh, espresso martini. You got a little pick me up because I'm feeling a little sleepy. We can do another uh, tequila shot if you want. Anyways. 
you know what? Anyway, so I... I think you're trying to thought off by saying that. Yeah, so I figured out what the vibe of this place is or what it makes me think of. What is the vibe? A movie set of a cruise ship. Mm, I can see that with a whole bunch of extras. It feels like it's not a real cruise ship. I can see that. Like we're on a movie set of a cruise ship, like the sweet life of Zach and Cody, like how they did that. Do you see what I mean? Yes. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just like, it feels like a movie set of a cruise ship, not a real cruise ship. Oh, that's a nice little spare jersey. You I never like want any it. other spare jerseys, but you want this one? This one's pretty. What did you say about more shot glasses that we need? That we don't need them? Yeah, look, Margaritaville of the seas. No, but we don't have any margarita glasses at home. We don't need any margarita. We don't have cabinet space for a margarita glass. <laughs> Fun fact, when you spend $50 or more, you get a free cooler bag. So Laura's getting a free cooler bag with her $60 beer journey. If you don't get a cooler on the Margaritaville ship, if you actually go on the Margaritaville ship, really good in here with the I know pizza. that pizza. I feel like we may have to try that later for, um, for official purposes. Let's go see how long it's open. So that's kind of interesting. So the pizzeria on this ship it has a classic complimentary cheese and pepperoni. It starts at five o'clock. But if you want any other type of pizza, it's gonna cost you at least six ninety nine, five ninety nine, seven ninety nine. The pizzas actually sound really good. And this place is called Frank and Lolo's and it's on deck nine. We can finally say we're moving, but look how close we are. Look how close we are to the ocean. I love it, honestly. I like being this close. Yeah, you can just like sit up here and just like chill. And it's not too wavy. This is like my happy place. Wow, Laura, you look really nice. Thank you. This wasn't in the cruise ship video. No, I got this like late last year and I just never had anywhere to wear it. It was, it was after like any of our cruises. I think it's Shein, but nice. Yeah. Comfy and I really like it. It's comfortable. You love your rompers. I do. <laughs> I really didn't bring anything, so I'm still in the same outfit that I was earlier. I missed it earlier, but there's, there's also an ice chest cooler underneath the bar area. So if you're curious about that, no freaking way, Laura. Look at this an actual library. It's not that much. An actual library with five books on a cruise ship. When's the last time you saw a library on a, on a cruise? A long, 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 long no time ago. No way. For anyone that was curious, there actually is a Margaritaville casino on board. We heard earlier from some other people that it was pretty tiny, but. I mean, we don't really play, but let's go check it. Let's see. Oh, they have 88 Fortunes, which is your, your jam. Close, I think the one we like is called. We like the one where you close a pot. That's what it is. The one we like is called like drum something. No, like it has tables and it has a couple slot machines and that's about it. It's not as small as I thought it was going to be. This is the whole room. It has tables in the middle and a couple slot machines on the side. So it's not intricate. It's not like a carnival celebration or Mardi Gras, but it's, if you want to bet, you can bet. It's not the worst. Fun fact, we, are, we looked all over the ship. We looked at the map. This is the only indoor bar. Other than the theater bar, this is the only indoor bar, bar on this ship. They do have the boozy um, ice cream upstairs, but it's not really like a bar. Unless we're missing something. I think someone is buying fake Instagram followers. I know the number's not really going up, but it's- Or no one's following them, so it just keeps like going over and over again, the same number. For aesthetic. Oh, I finally had dinner. It's actually not too bad in here. I like it. It looks really nice. I will say I'm a very sensitive person to smell, and it smells like a hospital cafeteria in here. Yeah, this ship has had a few different smells in different areas of the ship. But I do love the lights in here, and like the colors are nice. They did a nice job with that. And then we have our own, very own scratching post. Yes, if you pay extra for this, you get a scratching post. The lights kind of remind me of like the Christmas ball lights that you hang from like trees and stuff like that. And then here is the menu. Let us know in the comments down below what you would actually pick. I'm thinking with the jerk chicken and rice. And then on this side are the drinks and the wine. So you guys can just pause the screen if you want to see more of that. Um, excuse me, there's only one plate on the table, so I think it's to share that plate. Really? Yeah, I don't see a, I don't see a dish for me. I'm happy because there is bread. Can I show you a trick about the bread and okay. the butter? I saw it on TikTok. So you get a soft piece of bread. A soft piece of butter. Soft piece of butter, and I saw someone poke it with a fork, and then open up your bread. You take the bread. This magic trick is not going so well so far. And you open it like this, and you take it, and you just squeeze it out, but it's not really working as well as oh I thought my. it. So there you go. Thank you so much. <laughs> 
What is it? Mom, look at what I can do. <laughs> it went a lot smoother in the TikTok video. It's 8.55 yeah. on the first night. And you were down to four drinks. Is, this, is it worth it or no? I'll let you know at the end of the weekend. So I got the gumbo. It has shrimp and rice and a little bit of sauce. And I also got the ahi tuna. What did you get? I got a caprese salad. That's a caprese salad? It's really small. <laughs> it's like they went and got some grass clippings from the yard and put it on your plate. It's like literally one piece of mozzarella like cut up into three. It's honestly really funny when he sat this down in front of me. That's a caprese salad right there. Let's see how it tastes though. It tastes great. So how is it? So I ate the gumbo. It's not bad. The rice was a little overcooked, so it wasn't the greatest. But the sauce was actually, the roux was actually pretty good. With this tuna, I've never had bland fish before. I don't know how to say it, like it needs flavor. It's really real. Even like tuna on sushi, it's not bad. I would say, I'll give this like a two out of 10. Oh wow. Without the sauce, it's nothing. Here's my pasta, my small bowl of pasta, but it's most likely a portion size. So I'm not upset about that. Laura got mashed potatoes with steak, which is nice. How's your steak or how's your mashed potatoes? Um, I haven't tried the braised short rib yet, but the green beans and the potatoes are very good. I am running into a little issue. When I ate this, you guys can see some Parmesan right there in the center of the frame. It tastes like I was kind of like eating like pebbles. Like they were, they were kind of hard. Pebbles? Kinda like hard. stale Parmesan? I wouldn't say this is the best pasta I've ever had in my life. All right, let me try my short rib. It's very tender. Oh, perfect. They have these boozy ice cream exclusive flavors. There we go. Thank you. That sounds really good, interesting. Here are the flavors of the tipsy ice cream. Saint strawberry sangria. Tequila Mexican hot chocolate, mango margarita, sea blue margarita. That's for Kyle Pella right there. Have you tried it yet? Well, he gave me, I tried it before I ordered it. It was very like mild. So it's okay. not sweet, which I like. It's very lightly sweet. And which one did you get? Uh, Bahama Mama tipsy scoop. I just got one scoop. One hour later. All right, we've been sitting here for a little bit. It's been fun. Laura really didn't eat our ice cream. She said it didn't taste like it had any alcohol in it at all. I think I'm ready to go to bed or at least go back to the room and watch like HGTV or like the Food Network or something. Does that sound good to you? You want to go to the room and watch some like HGTV or something? Yes. That was a fun first day. I mean, yeah. not, I wouldn't say fun, but it, was, it wasn't ba as bad as I thought it was going to be. So far, I don't dislike this, but it's definitely different. Very, very different from your traditional cruise ship. It honestly does feel like a movie set. Like you're just you're in like a, another, a parallel universe or something of what a cruise should be. But hey, thank you guys for joining us. I hope you guys continue to watch this series. We have one more video after this. Yeah, make sure if you guys are enjoying this, hit that thumbs up button. You can just, you can subscribe down below if you want to see more of us and hit that notification bell if you want to get notified every time we post. And if you really, really like us, you can join our memberships down below for a few extra perks. But well, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow in i think grand bahama yes grand bahama island bye guys bye all right turn it on hgtv food network let's get some diners drive-ins and dives going i also just want to say like i don't know where the outlets are there's a USB C. there's a USB A. and down here on the ground is an outlet but i don't see any other outlets in this room that is a no bueno i don't know how we're gonna charge your stuff don't worry about it